Hello? I tilted it down a lot. I see that. Now I look like... I see a half a beard. Hello. Welcome to This Beard Cooks. <laughs> Let me tilt, tilt it up a little bit, so... So I can look at you and be like, hey guys. I guess we need a third camera for the table at some point. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Hi guys. Hi. Hello everyone. We're making spaghetti squash. I already did part of the spaghetti squash. If you guys see over there, I already put that through the oven. Uh, and then... Uh, and I'm letting it cool down right now because I figure it's going to take a lot of time. And I got to put the meatballs in there because I'm not frying up the meatballs and baking them. I like I prefer baking them can, uh, other than frying them up. So it's going to be entertaining watching Rocket. <laughs> so this is we're going to start off making the meatballs. So I got this. It's a spicy Italian hot sausage. It's pork meatballs. Hi, Echo. Good day to you, Echo. Luminar man goat. Hello, man goat. Look at this. There's meta in the corner. So I'm gonna need an egg. Are you getting an egg? Um. You know what? I'll probably chop up some onion too and put it in there. That's what he does. He's worse right now. But he does this all the time. Just one egg? Yeah, just one egg. Um, let me get some garlic. And if you can't tell, I'm making this up as I go. Because I don't know. That's how I cook. Mm, hi, Um, Let me cut up an onion. This is all I'm allowed to do is pick up eggs and move it from one area to another. You notice that I didn't take the egg out of the fridge. I brought the whole case over <laughs> and then put it down. <laughs> and return the case back. I got spaghetti squash seeds on my, on my face. I don't care too much about the it gets chopped up. I think we only need half an onion. Uh, yeah. Mince it up a lot, that'd be nice. Hmm? You could mince it up a lot. So well, that's my plan. A lot, of, a lot. I don't want chunks of onion. Well, I was just going to do this. Oh. Assistant chef. What you make? Right now, I'm making a uh, Italian Spanish or uh, spicy Italian meatballs, so I can put them in the oven. I'm gonna bring this over here. I hate walking back and forth. But uh, we have uh, butter. Not, why do I keep going saying butter not squash? squash. Spaghetti Italian squash. Sausage meatballs. And we're going to. And gonna, then ahi tuna salad. Yep, we're going to sear up an ahi tuna. And uh, have a beautiful time with that. I'm going to make sure this is super minced. Actually, I might just use a quarter of an onion, honestly. That's a great idea. Less onion, the better. Why do you hate onions right so much? Oh. Onions are good for your blood. I know. That's why I let you. That's probably why you have things. super high blood pressure because you're like, I hate onions. No. Onions are the enemy. No, that's not true at all. Rex, hi, where's Rex? He's over here. He's walking into the kitchen. Is he trying to? Bad dog. Rocket being crazy. See behind it? Yeah. He's breathing like super hard. He <laughs> ran himself out. Yeah. I think part of it, we got, I got to play with him tonight because the past couple nights I haven't played with him. So my tactic with Rocket is, is that um, I, I make him, I make him get super tired. Because uh, otherwise he's just, just like rambunctious all night. Like last night he, he spent a good majority on my pillow cleaning my hair. Not sleeping. Cleaning my hair. So I was like, thank you. I really needed that. And he's like, you're welcome. And I was like, why did you just talk now? And he's like, 
Then, then he chloroformed me. What? What? Alright. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. I'm gonna use my squash spoon too. Not a lot of garlic, just a little bit. Yeah, that was a little bit. Huh? That is a little bit. <laughs> Don't you judge me. Also, let me get some oregano. And if you guys, oh, you guys can't see. Oh, actually, can you? A little bit. Oh, you can see. Now that I put the spice rack down, so. The, the An actual spice, spice rack rack. instead of a fucking half ass rotating bullshit one. Oregano's on the right hand side. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I put all the leafy ones in the back. The spice, like, spicy chili in the middle, and then the most common ones in there. I'm going to put some breadcrumbs in it. This is not low carb. This is not a low carb. Well, this oh, is a low is carb. Low carb, carb but it's just, you need breadcrumbs to make meatballs. Yeah. Someone said, you don't need breadcrumbs. You can use bagels. Well, they're stupid. But bagels is just more a different version of bread. It's bagels. Who cares? I, I literally just made that up. Oh. You're an if, so, <laughs> if someone did that. Spaghetti squash, yeah. One cat went pop mode, the other one got terrified. That's what Skitten was. Skitten would, like, go nowhere. She, actually, we didn't introduce him for, like, a few days. But, we're, like, we would leave, like, Rocket stuff around, and Rocket would smell Skitten stuff. And the thing is, is that, like, um, Skitten, as soon as she smelt that blanket, ooh, got big onion parts in here, I'm gonna break apart. I thought I told you to mince that I onion. did! It, it, was, it probably just got parts that got missed. You won't even eat tell, it's gonna get cooked and you're gonna be like, mmm, delicious. Whatever. I was like Lokens, like every other thing. So far, so good. Um, ooh, rice flour instead of breadcrumbs? That might be a good idea. Oh, we should get some. She said moonst. <laughs> or you could probably, no, well, coconut flour might not taste good. Because coconut has just a slight bit. We have almond flour, that would also be pretty weird. And we'd have to try rice flour. Rice flour, we have to get some. Uh, is there any way you could spray that with Pam? The final Pam? I don't know if Pam would like that. Hi, Kiki Barista. Hi. Hello. I am not a mince lupin. Kiki Barista, do I get to see you soon? Is that enough? I hope that's enough. Because that's going to have to be enough. Well, yeah. You got the bottom of it? Yeah. Okay. Then we're just going to make some little meatballs. Little you want? Oh, you want the, the, the thingy that I got? Thingy. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. It's gonna get messy. Okay. I got it! So you can make even, equal, you know, things. She got a meatball scoop and she's super excited. It's not excited. a meatball scoop! It is now! Now it is, yeah. It's a, it's very, it's getting very messy, 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 messy. messy. Uh, almond flour instead of breadcrumbs? Do you think almond flour? I'm tiny. Wait, what, what not? Weekend of drinking coming up soon? Yeah. TwitchCon. Oh, that's next weekend. Yeah, that's coming up soon. Well, yeah. Those are massive sizes you, of onions. Is... Oh, well, I mean, no, it'll cook. <sighs> you won't even onions. notice. Yeah, I will. No, you I'm won't. I'm going to judge you. The rest of the recipes aren't on there because he's kind of just making it up. So They're homebrewed meatballs. So, yeah. So, basically, this is, if you guys want to write this down, right? So, it's a pound of uh, spicy Italian sausage, ground. Um, a uh, quarter of an onion, uh, oregano. Wait. What? Um, 
I'm writing it down for people. Give me a second. I'll do it on the cup. Okay. Another One pound of brown, pound. hot, a spicy Italian sausage. Spicy. Sausage. Next, quarter onion. Quarter of an onion. Okay. Clove of uh, minced garlic. Okay. Um, oregano. I don't know how much. Like a teaspoon, maybe? Yeah. Okay. One egg. How much breadcrumb do you think you need? One fourth of a cup. Okay. I think that's it. Literally, that is it. I know how to handle balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I bought him a cookie scoop so he can make me cookies, but you can use cookie scoops for pretty much anything. I haven't used them so to make cookies like, yet, but I've used them to make meatballs now. Yeah. Well, it's just so you can have like more uniform sizes. Yeah. And it's not really necessary, but I bought it for him, so he's going to use it. That's what I said. All right. Homemade Italian sausage meatballs. I'm going to add this information to paste bin for you guys. Uh, yes, definitely wash off the ball juices. <laughs> yeah, the ball juices. And the, the, the ball scoop is all all messy too now. Put that away in there. So I'm going to throw these in because the, the ovens are ready to go. So I'm going to put this in there for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Between, I got it at 375 right now, cooking them. Now, we're going to on the tuna. Which I have out here already. I'm going to start warming up the pan a little bit. Ooh, that's hot. I'm going to start warming up the pan a little bit. Yes, I did. Um... So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to see how big it is. I can't remember. Also, this shit's super expensive. Yes. Here's our ahi tuna right there. I was thinking about cutting it in half, but this here are like two like little steaks. How much cook at what? What? What's the temperature? 375. 375 for how long? For? Um, 30 to 45 minutes. There you go. Some ahi too. I'm gonna throw that in there. Fuck it, why not? So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna Turn it up to a little bit higher heat. Because you want to sear it. I want to sear it, but I also want to get some flavoring on it. No, he's not going to sear the meatballs. No, I got them in the oven. So I'm going to take some olive oil and a cap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle these guys. Drizzle each side, even though I'm terrible at cutting it, apparently. Because you used the wrong name. Thank you for judging. You're welcome. <laughs> now that nice cover. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Babe, are you for real? I can hold that and do it for you. You got olive oil I, all over the place. I don't trust you. What? Well, you better wipe that shit down. Mm -hmm. I always do. Next up, you. Hmm? Nothing. 
You love me? Here, you need the pepper corn. Yeah, that's what I do. I'll do this part, because I can do it. So I'm putting some onion powder on it, on the outside of it. Okay. You don't have to do a lot to have tuna. No. But it's ahi tuna, so you have to fry it up a certain way. I got a spatula over there. Can you flip it over to me? Okay. Not If you guys see, Rocket's laying down right over here. Look at him. Hi, Lowry. What's up, dude? Okay. Okay. I'm washing my hands. I'm not going to touch the meat again. Listening to some Primus? Which Primus song? Hey, Chris. T Domestic Goodness with Nicole Okay. Well, let me add a little bit of olive oil to the... Now the interesting part is going to be trying to get this over here like uh, everything else. We want to sear it nice and good. Spaghetti squash with Italian sausage meatballs and a seared ahi tuna salad. And I'm writing up the recipe to them because they're kind of homemade, homebrewed recipes. I like the word homebrew. So I'm a bean bean here. I can do that.
Hey, Chris, what did you think of wrestling last night? to be. Fresh avocado. I should have gotten some. So lame. Yeah. Hmm? I should have gotten some at the store. What are you doing in here? Uh, so we can serve it up. Why you just put it in bowls? Well, what if I don't want a lot of lettuce? And you want a lot of lettuce. Well, what are we putting in right now? Anyway? Okay, put the knife down. <laughs> As the meatballs cook. Yes. And I can do the spaghetti. Yes. And you can take a picture of it. You can make it look pretty. Okay. I can do that. in here, Tiny. Dressing? Oh, it's blasphemy anyway. Why? On ahi tuna? Yeah. Balsamic. Balsaranit. Balsamic. Airbud 27, god damn it. Airbud? I think a lot of the matches last night sucked. I can't really make all both of them look okay. pretty, so. We just have to make one of them look pretty and then we take a picture of it. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this one. Okay. A species, yeah. We let the cats in here, not the dog. Well, we can't really do anything the cats in here. Yeah. You yell at them and they just stare at you. They start clapping. Okay. Oh, why is she called the wrong one? She's a hot form! Thanks for the help, man. squash right there. Now the only thing is I gotta figure out how to get it out of there. I think I need a fork. So is that for Uh yeah. I think you just use a spoon. They were using a fork in the video. Okay, okay, you go back to the Oh yeah, right there. Look at that. Oh god, yeah. Yeah baby. Yeah baby. Look at that right there. 
God, that's beautiful. Oh. Do it this side. Yeah. Mm. It's like magic, man. So what I did with these is that uh, I cut it in half, obviously. Uh, fork it. I'm forking it hard, man. Um, what I did was I drizzled it with uh, olive oil, and then I put salt and pepper on it, and then um, uh, garlic powder, and then oregano. And then, then I put it in the oven at 375 for 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, and then uh, I, I took out, I took them out, and then I cooled down the oven. And since I was still like working out and doing stuff like, like I went on a run. Um, I left it in the oven when it's just like the oven was cooling down; it wasn't on, but it still had that. Yeah, probably. Um, it still had that heat. All that spaghetti noodles come out. Let's do this over here a little bit. So you guys can see how delicious it is. Looking amazing today? Thank you, man. Beautiful. So beautiful. Now it's great as an alternative to uh, normal noodles. Normal noodles will give you fucking. Uh, it's a lot of carbs to be taking in. So. There we go. I think that's all I'm going to get out from it. Let's get this guy in there. They're still kind of hot, which that's good. I like it when it's kind of hot, because who wants cold dinner, right? Not this asshole. Oh. Tame my spaghetti squash. Why are you getting mad? I would have eaten it too. I never had this. I don't like vinegar. It doesn't taste super vinegary. It smells super vinegary. Don't add a cup to it. Enjoy the flavor of the fish. Mm -hmm. What? Who likes fish? Um, what? Mm, so worth it. <laughs> Baco cheeseburger for the cop. Was he gonna spit in it? You know what movie that's from? No. I can't remember. Did we watch it recently? 
Leader of Cola. I remember. I remember. You know why I'm judging you super hard? Why? Because it's Super Troopers. Oh. Was he gonna add branch to it? He wanted to first. But it's expired by like two weeks. Thank God. It's blasphemy! Balsamic fine. Because it's white. Hi King! I would like some more. Much more. Oh, like Is that coming out on 420? That's what you said. Have you seen a preview for that? I have, and I showed you. I don't think so. You I don't what? remember these things. You have the worst memory. Mm. 420. Tiny, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Went back to school. Nice, ma'am. Super busy. Yeah, I get that. All the houses in America look like that. This one? If you say so. I don't know. When we were house hunting, I saw some fucking weird houses. Mm hmm My first house didn't look like this at all. Oh, you do the salad. Oh, we have little tomatoes for this. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want them anyway. He wanted them. Mm. I love that kitchen. This kitchen's really good. We're planning on remodeling it, though. I miss my old kitchen. The old kitchen was nice, too. I like the island and the granite countertops. Yeah. When we remodel, we're going to be tearing out this whole section, making a really big island. I'm replacing all the cabinets and counters with granite. Mm -hmm. The cabinets are actually really old. They've just been refinished. Well, I got kind of a water bottle. Oh, okay. I'm actually kind of full. Ahi tuna salads are pretty filling. What's packed tomatoes? What does that mean? Huh? Packed tomatoes. I don't know what that means. Do you use packed tomatoes? Like they're We super don't have red? any tomatoes here. We have the cherry tomato. They're cherry tomatoes, not packed tomatoes. I don't know what packed tomatoes are, but I know they're not the same as that. Yeah, I mean that's a that's the problem. Like remodeling a kitchen costs a lot of fucking goddamn money. And then you're out of a kitchen for several weeks, if not more. Yeah. Blah. That's when people's pets get eaten. The horrible one is the tastiest. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty much it with every food. Mm. The things that you're not supposed to eat are the, for some reason, the tastiest. Well, not always, but. Mm -hmm. Like all the, all the junk food out there, it tastes mm. like that because they add so much crap to it. It's not healthy for you. But we've had good luck being able to like make good food. Oh, that's a big piece of tuna, man. Sorry. I was going to cut it more, but I didn't end up doing that. I'm going to cut some more now. The original color of carrots? White! I don't know, actually. It's trivia time! Food trivia! I was about to say that, too. Huh? Get out of my head. Food trivia! Here. I don't know, Nesbitt. I made that up, okay? I'm so full. Keep eating. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have second dinner later. I mean, nah, we're not even done with that. I don't believe that. I need a fact check. Somebody fact Black? check. Black? That's how they came up with Halloween colors, right? You pull carrots out in the fall, and they're like, Halloween! That's huh. how they created Halloween, pulling carrots out. The Oompa Loompas made them orange. That's that's what we're going with. The Oompa Loompas? Oompa Loompa do 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 Yep. See, I don't know anything about agriculture, so. Yep. You know what I know? Food tastes mm. good. That's what I know. You know what I know? Mm. I made a sauce pan. Sauce pan? Mm -hmm. Okay. Trump is a carrot? Not possibly. He blends in like one. I need a sauce now. I don't want no cold sauce. I'm gonna just use the same bowl. Okay. So it's to not waste. You want to put the tuna in? I put it away already. Come on. I thought you were gonna finish it. No. Do you not like it or something? I mean, I'm not a big tuna fan. I like the tuna. Oh. I like how it tastes. But... I can't believe you. All the tuna is mine forever. Tuna is okay. delicious. You will hear no arguments from me. This is why I don't let her in the kitchen. I'm holding on to it now. Okay. <laughs> Nobody saw that. <laughs> Here you go. Can we clip that, please? I just want that clip. Red potatoes. I've tried orange potatoes. AKA sweet potatoes. Yams. Those aren't pink. Pink po uh, sweet potatoes are orange. He's talking about cotton candy. Maybe he's colorblind. I don't know if there's a color blindness against carrots, orange, and sweet potatoes. Orange, <laughs> carrot blindness. <laughs> if you fried them, they are, they are like candy. I don't know, are they? I've never fried sweet potato before. Maybe you should try doing that. Maybe. Maybe you should, since I'm terrible in the kitchen. <sighs> I won't eat them. I will eat them. What will I eat? I don't know, I don't care. You can do that. Wow. Me and Devin will eat the sweet potatoes. You and Creek can uh, find something else. I mean, he eats sweet potatoes too. No, he hates sweet potatoes, just like you. Yeah. Okay. We had this argument last time when we went to Ramen. And me and Devin looked at both of you and were like, this is unbelievably disgraceful. Food porn channel and Discord, got it. Are we playing ESR tonight? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I hit it all done. Oh. Unless you really want to. Figured two streams a day is enough for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one that one Monday I was pretty burnt out. Yeah. <laughs> Cut them into rounds, toss them in a mix of brown sugar, salt, cinnamon until lightly coated, bake until soft. So good. I mean, I'll, I'll deep fry them. Yeah, I mean, people do the... So, one thing I want us to try is... Is, uh, because of the fact that... I love sweet potato. Sweet potato pie is delicious. Yeah. 
The stream over? No. We haven't had a big course yet. I won't be eating mine, but well, if I'm like super full, I suck. Well, you suck. You suck. I want to say thank you for the beard tips on Twitter the other day. I've been using those tips and no more beard flakes from Caliber. Hey, man. That's what, that's what you got to do. You got to oil that beard, man. You oil that beard into a beautiful thing and get it on that skin and it's not itchy. I'm glad I could help. Oh, that's you. It's turning down. You've tried to cook buffalo wings? Okay. Is this something bad happened with blue cheese? Well, the blue cheese you're supposed to dip the wings in after where you don't cook the blue cheese. Kilogram. We're dumb Americans. Well, you probably know the metric system, don't you? Well, why would you say that? Because you were born in Russia. That has nothing to do with it. I've been living in Russia since I was like five years old. Yeah, but shouldn't you remember all that shit? And then you would always judge us on like us using Fuck the metric off. system. No. Wow. Two point two pounds or so. Okay. They used to throw the wings away. I can't read in Russian anymore. I'm the worst Russian person ever. Do you understand when people speak Russian? Yeah. Secret roots for Ivan Grave. <laughs> That means, um, try no Pikachu Roboto. Are you looking at Twitter? Yeah. Why? Okay. I'm multitasking. Isn't that, mer uh, isn't that pickled shark, or fermented shark? What? What, what, uh, Therodian. Have you tasted shark foyer? I don't know. I don't know what shark for you. I, don't know what shark. I know that there's a fermented shark in uh, which, which place is Norway? Is it Norway or somewhere else? I don't remember. Somebody, uh, some one of the uh, European, like, or Iceland? Is it Ice? I think it might be Iceland. Shark. Iceland. I was right. It's Iceland. Ah. Which is goose liver? No, it's from Iceland. What Fermented kind of shark, shark is. is. There, yeah, oh, it's an Icelandic national dish of Iceland, consisting of Greenland shark or other sleeper shark, which has been cured with particular fermentation process and hung to dry to four, for four to five months. Oh God. I don't know what that is. It looks gross. I uh, thought that you said that was shark venison nest, but I was like, yeah, shark venison. Mmm. Shark, shark version. Consumption contains a large amount of ammonia and has a strong smell similar to many cleaning products. Why would anybody want to eat that? Those new to it may gag involuntarily on first attempt to eat it because of the high ammonia content. Why? Ew. Ew. You guys have Netflix? I mean, yeah. This is a disc. I can't. I don't want to read anymore. That's gross. I don't want that. Blech. Sixteen months in a row. How much is it? 
16 months. Beard for the win. Thank you for 16 months, you beautiful son of a bitch. What do you say? Sweet 16. Keep up the great content, bearded brethren. Cheers. Bearded, do I get to see you soon? Cheers. Fermenting fish? Fermenting anything sounds like. Yeah, I know fermenting fish is a thing Scandinavian wise, but it's still gross. Like, I've had Japanese mackerel that's been like dried out and stuff like that, and I'm okay with that. But the actual fermentation, and, like the, the heavy ammonia thing, is not something that I'm interested in. This is what I'm gonna do. So, if you guys see that the sauce over here, right? I'm gonna put the rest of these in the sauce. You see, they've held up pretty well. That's because of the breadcrumbs and the, um, egg. the egg. I know things. How do you test to see if a uh, spaghetti noodle's done? You lick it. No. Like nail polish. She, did, she didn't know that, and she never knew why I was throwing noodles against the wall. She was so mad. I was mad. Your mom knew what I was doing. It's dumb. Who does that? Weird people. Italians. Are you calling all Italians weird? That's pretty racist. I'm not going to eat this. Sorry. I can tell. To try what? Sort of stroming? idea. What is it? What is it, Tiny? The worst smelling thing? Ew, no! Don't put smelly things into our lives. I mean, I farted it out, so. No tiny, why? What? If he were to eat something like that, it would have to be outside the house. That shit don't come in my house. What? 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 It's why would you? Sir, sir Stroming, I don't know what it is. He said it's a special fermented fish that smells horrible, but if you eat it right, it tastes so fucking good. Sir what? So stroming. I don't even actually know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I had one of my mods, um, he's in the Netherlands, and he, he got me to pronounce stroopwafel correctly, finally, after spelling it like a bazillion times. Stroopwafel? Stroopwafel. Oh. It's, uh, it's like super crispy, thin waffle cracker looking things with mm -hmm. filling inside between them. You never open that shit. You open it outside in a bowl of water. Okay. Slade, thank you for the biddies. Slade gave us biddies. Where are the biddies? The biddies. Slade. Thank you for the biddies. Table oh, I am? Yeah. Sometimes my enunciation of certain uh, vowels in other languages like Swedish and uh, Norwegian. A lot, some of the other Slavic ones, I always mix it on accident with Russian pronunciation um, because there's a lot of similarities, but they're not all the same. So I thought I said I wasn't gonna eat. I'm still making you a fight now. Uh, okay. So we gotta take a picture of this one. Okay. On my phone. I do. I'm gonna put it on the table because it looks prettier. Sure. I, I can't watch it right now. Um, we don't have any other mods in here. What's that? Tiny. 
Yeah, permitted. Oh, okay. Nesbitt's in here. I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese. It's so hot that the steam is blurring the image. Really? She's trying to take a picture with me. Oh, it looks so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I can watch it later. Thank you, Tiny. You guys can also post in Discord. That's what you did. Oh. Yeah. You're not reading chat, so. I know. Russians are Viking from the Middle Ages. Mm. Looks really good. This is what it looks like. Everything mixed together. One squash. That's like two bowls plus this is what I have left over from the, uh, the spaghetti squash. I can feed a lot of fucking people, man. And the squash ain't expensive either. Yeah, that's true. The squash is not expensive. And it fills you up as lots of fiber in it. Yep. Helps you poop. I thought you were going to eat any. I'm going to try some. Mmm. I'm curious about the nutrition facts of spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Nutrition. Let's see. Yeah, fiber. There is some kind of carbohydrate. It was excellent. That sounds really good. It's all dietary fiber, though. No, there's 2.8 grams of sugar. In it? Mm-hmm. Um, low, low in fat, high in potassium. Uh, some got some vitamins. Got some vitamins. There's a little bit of protein in there too. Oh, there's a lot of protein. One. A cup of cooked spaghetti made from white enriched noodles contains approximately 220 calories versus 31. Hmm? Regular spaghetti is 220 calories with 42 grams of carbs. Yeah. Versus one cup, the same amount, only 31 calories and only 7 grams of carbs. Comparative to spaghetti. So it's a pretty huge difference. Yeah. I want something to drink. Uh, I'm gonna make a ice lemonade. We're not counting calories. That's not my point. It's if you're doing calorie intake versus out um, when you're trying to lose weight, you have to be on a certain amount of a deficit to actually progress in your weight management. So yeah, what do you think of brown pasta, high fiber pasta, in, in taste? Yes, do my own pasta. That would not take forever. Huh? Oh, thank you. Uh, making your own pasta is useless. We're not no. gonna do flour pasta. That's why we're doing spaghetti squash. It's a lot quicker. Like, I literally would have started That's like mess. the stream like a while ago if I was gonna make my own pasta. Like I would have ended my stream at like 2.30 so I can get ready and then, then do all that. There's really no point. Like there's no reason to make your own pasta unless you're making like ravioli, to be honest with you. I mean, you can. Well, I'm saying like if you're gonna spend the time to do I've made ravioli before it took me forever um, Like from scratch, but if you're gonna do like a really nice ravioli then yeah, sure make your own pasta, but Ugh, What your own pasta It's nothing more healthy. There's nothing more healthy. No nah. Pasta is not very nutritious. <laughs> it's good. It's good for uh, fiber or not fiber uh, carbs. If you have a high carb diet because you're doing a lot of working out, you know. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's actually really good. 
Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. I'm just having the one meatball. The one meatball? And then I'll put the rest away for later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, if we're gonna go out for pasta or something, we'll just go to a place that makes pasta from scratch. Is there a place like that in Austin? Probably. I don't like the way that looks. I'm gonna throw that away. Yeah, Brody, they live on a very different diet, though. Like, that, like comparing Mediterranean... Hi, whack. European countries to American living, it just... Nope. And that's the same reason why Japanese people can eat fuck tons of rice and still not be overweight. It's a completely different lifestyle. It's not just changing one food or the other out. Yeah. Guys making me hungry? Hi, bestie, Esty. Hey, Esty. I've never actually tried brown pasta, I don't know. I've heard of, like, vegetable pastas. I wonder if we have the one that I found. Oh. oh. So I found this one. I have never, we haven't made it before, but this is made out of chickpeas. I don't know if it's any good to be honest with you, but comparative, it has 25 grams of protein, 13 grams of fiber, and only 43 grams of net carbs. For, it still has a lot of carbs though, but that's because it's chickpeas. You had rice pasta. I don't like mm. it as much. Hmm. Mac, are you excited for Wednesday? Lobster and chickpeas? Never had that either. I want lobster now. Not together. So Let's cook a live lobster on screen. Oh, God. Uh, we can't really afford a lobster, so no. That, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. That's how you're Cook a to... live lobster on stream? You can cook a live lobster. That's fine. On stream. Oh, maybe not. I am. I'm excited. You're excited. We could probably try some of that in the future. We want it, uh, so we, we've we been having a lot of cauliflower, and um, which by the way is a great substitute for rice, but we haven't had a chance to do the riced um, cauliflower thing. We did it with ma um, mashed cauliflower potatoes. mashed in, instead of mashed potatoes. You're excited for next Wednesday? What are you doing, Mango? I'm talking That's about Wednesday. this Wednesday. Is that? That's when he flies out, I think. Oh. Damn, everyone's getting there early. I'm showing up Thursday morning. Yep. 8.15 a.m. <sighs> yeah. I know you hate me, but... What time, what time do we have to leave? Um... <clears throat> welcome back, Excuse Toby. Welcome Hi, Toby. Well. It, our flight takes off at 7.15. So we probably want to leave here by 6 or 5.45. Yeah, I can still do Chosen that night. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why I like doing Chosen on Wednesdays, is because I can, like, even if there's a convention, unless I leave Wednesday, I mean. Who's from Maine? And also, do you mean Maine as in the, the, the state? Which is, oh, oh god. Gypsy J subscribed for 14 months in a row! He says, looking snazzy. Oh, thank you. Also, who's, who's J? What? Oh. oh. <laughs> Deep fried Fair Mars bar. <laughs> Hi, Fairhurst. I've had lobster bisque, which I like, but most places generally over salt it, so it kind of ruins the whole thing. But a good lobster bisque is nom nom nom. I'm not a particularly huge fan of clam chowder. I think, again, it's kind of overdone. Uh, but what however, if you had a clam, fountain of it? No. Clam cakes, though. I know what you're referencing. But clam cakes. On the other hand, amazing and delicious. <clears throat> Hi, Fairhurst. Hello. Fairhurst is a beautiful Scottish fan. Oh, that dish. What about my dish? Do you not like my dish? Maybe he likes the dish. Super discos. Oh, Ibiza? Or are you saying other than, than that? Yeah. Hello. So much food. Oyster stuffing is good. Mm. I love this dish. Mm. <laughs> DJ, 
Carmichael. Subscribe for 12 months in a row. One year butt slap. Thanks for the resub. DJ, thank you so much, ma'am. I love you. All the all the Elspeth people are showing up. Please. Looks so good. If you want, generic, if you, guys, you can uh, do exclamation point recipe. If you guys have uh, the trunk emo, do trunks up in chat. Let's see how many trunks up show up. <laughs> it's weird. I can't see commands on the on the screen up here. Yeah, it's a Twitch chat. I turned it off. So it was, yeah, okay. Be able to see what are Where at? <laughs> hey, Shifu. Trunks up. See? There we go. You beautiful sons of bitches. Is it? I think so. I, I don't I don't have my trunks anymore. I had to unsub everyone. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Wack. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? I don't I work here. No, it's all good. All damn trunks up your butt. Doop, 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 doop. I'm missing so many covers. That's the right one, but it doesn't have a center. So we're gonna put a center. Well, I don't know where. Where's that tiny one that came out? They wouldn't put a hole in it and be like, yeah. Yes. I'm just telling you, it's supposed to have covers. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now you're hungry? That's what these streams are for. Learn how to make food healthy and cheap at the same time. The ahi tuna salad, that's not going to be cheap. No, but I wanted ahi tuna. <laughs> See you later, generic. Generic, have a good one. Thank you for joining us. Oh. You want me to find somebody to host? Uh, Where are you still? I'm still talking. What time? Okay. Six thirteen. Yeah. I don't know who we're gonna host. Oh, take a look. You're hungry, rock beer. Mm-hmm. Don't be hungry. You get numbs. I think Rock Beer tomorrow's um, chosen. Tomorrow's chosen. No, t it's Monday. Oh. Tomorrow's chosen prep. Okay, here's my D and D schedule. Tomorrow's chosen prep. It happens at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, then. Uh, Wednesday's chosen. That's the game IDM on this channel, um, and that's the one Wax going to be joining uh, us for. Um, then Fracture Worlds, I'll be uh, on John Sandman's channel, and that starts at 4 p.m. Central. Um, Friday, I don't have any D and D. Uh, Saturday, I play in a, a system called What's Old Is New. We're playing the new side of it, N E W, uh, and that's on Wax Stevens' channel, and he's. Uh, He's the DM of Doom, or the GM of Doom. I forget, is it DM of Doom or GM of Doom? DM of Doom. Uh, on that. And then Sundays, I'm in a campaign called uh, Call of Cthulhu Reveries, uh, which is the Call of Cthulhu uh, tabletop. And that's on Metamancer's channel. And she's the keeper. <laughs> Depends on the system. It need to be system appropriate. What's a what's what's a, uh W I N uh, then? Are you the are you the D M of Doom on that or the G M of Doom? I try to keep it system appropriate too. G M of Doom, yeah, because game master. I mean, Call of Cthulhu, you're the keeper. Yep. You don't need to add up Doom because you know you'll fuck people up. I know, they're just the keeper of the game in general. Maj Majestic Magic, yeah, this is my Monday cooking stream. Uh, I have uh, cooking streams I do on Mondays at 5 p.m., healthy cooking. This is uh, spaghetti squash.
Luminar, thank you. And I've been turning subs into NPCs, so if you guys want to be an NPC, let me know. Um, eventually, when I figure out a good schedule, um, once a month or once every couple months, I'm going to do uh, 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 one-shots with uh, my subscribers. So they can get their characters like leveled up and stuff. Uh, YouTube. Actually, I got to do that tonight. I got uh, episodes 9 and 10 I'm going to be throwing up on YouTube tonight. Um, but, um, yeah. So you can go hit exclamation chosen yeah. YT. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm on top of that shit, Bessie. What's up? What? Go okay. here. But Fracture Worlds is happening. That's a. Uh, Fracture Worlds is on John Sandman's channel. Uh, Wag Steven for Warped does a podcast, which I need a link for so I can put it in my chat. You can DM it to me, Wax. So I can make a command for it. There you go. It's Mish Warped. Oh, is that. Do you have that yet or no? No. Okay. Play! Yeah, that's the link to my channel. We do Sunday uh, Sunday shows. That's pretty much my only focus nowadays. I do bonus streams where we play games. Is. But right now we're playing Fallout 4 and right, and we're about to... Uh, I'm waiting on people to vote for the horror game. Uh, I say Layers of Fear. Go find Meta's Twitter and put Layers of Fear. Link for what? Your podcast for uh, Warped. From what I've seen so far. Episode 10 was our drinking episode, uh, Crim the Grim, and it was, uh, it was super, it was super, super drunk time. I don't know if he's gonna have a minute. He just found out about it. Okay, I'll do it again. Meta, do you have a poll for your horror game to start, but I didn't see the poll. Yeah, it's there. Let me grab it. Layers of fear. Layers of fear. Let me go grab it. See you on Thursday. Rock for. Bye. I'll see you. I'll see you Thursday. And if you want to show up Wednesday, this channel, 5 p.m. It's more D&D. Here, you can, you can vote there. <gasps> Vertigo! Vertigo! Vertigo. I love that man. Hi, Vertigo. I'll make a command now. Okay. Thank you, Wack. Vertigo, how are you doing, man? Vertigo Gaming. I'm doing great. I'm eating. I'm eating uh, spaghetti squash. How are you doing? I feel like there's a game that came out that you would have jumped on. Holy cow, a large kitchen. Thanks. Um, all right. Wow. <laughs> Rude. I love you. This is our kitchen. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're good. I'm trying to think. What fucking? There was a survival. The Viking survival game that came out. Have you played that at all? Fuzzy Freaks was talking about it. Can you give me one reason why I should vote for Layers of Fear? Because she will freak out. I'll freak out with any of those games. They I think that game, the rated game, like the top horror games. Layers of Fear is scarier than all the other games on that list. It looks like Skyrim, to be honest. Which one? Oh, the uh, Valner Rock. I yeah, I haven't seen anything on it yet. Is it is it like a multiplayer Skyrim? Is it like the Ark of Skyrim or something? It's a Viking arc? Okay. If she plays Alien Isolation, I'll only allow her, allow her to play it on Nightmare. No. Why? System Shock 2 is apparently, like, one of the, like, best horror games ever made. System Shock 2? A lot of people haven't heard of it, though, apparently. I haven't heard of it. 
I, I, maybe I have heard of it. I know Adam most definitely probably heard of it. Mm-hmm. He plays Silent Hill too. Nah. I watched Adam play Silent Hill. It seems just really fucking. I mean, uh, the ones you have up there: Alien Isolation, System Shock 2, Other. Please recommend. Yeah. No one's recommended anything. No, they have. What do they recommend? I have Alien Isolation VR. I said send me a VR unit. <laughs> and then um, Five Nights at Freddy's, which I think is dumb, just because it's it's just a scare ta- like jump scare attack. It's not actually scary. Um, and then Home Sweet Home from Crafty One, which I've never heard of. Oh, that's a new one that just came out. Ah. So, Home Sweet Home must be good. Layers of Fear is winning by 41%. Bare- barely. It's not almost in tie with Alien Isolation. I'm just saying, vote Layers of Fear. You know why? Because it's better than... Alien Isolation is great. But if you... You're, that's the only time you're going to play this game, right? A, a horror oh, game? Oh, well, yeah. That one session? Layers of Fear is probably your best vote. Because, like, it, you can beat it in a couple of hours. But, like, for how long it's going to take you, it's probably going to take you, like, five hours. Well, maybe. The problem is that I also have scare alerts. So I'll just make everything way worse. I don't like this idea. Do you want me to sit in there with you while you play it? Maybe. You want to host Devin? She's on. Yeah, we can host Devin. I'm done with dinner. Yeah. We'll host her in a second. Well, if it's Layers of Fear or Alien, I've seen it a few times, so I'll go with Layers of Fear. That's fair. If you've already seen something a lot, then yeah, totally. I mean, duh, yeah. <laughs> Layers of Fear took you through two to three hours. Yeah, I could do that in a session. It took your boy 15 hours because he fucking paused it every like 30 seconds. <laughs> That'll be me then. Oh, wait, I don't know. Your boy kind of gets scared really, really easily, right? Yeah, he's not. He's not a good person playing uh, scary games. I mean, like I can at least play a bit. It's more of like. When I get triggered, it's one of those, like, freeze moments. <laughs> Thank you, Splade. All right, do you want to wrap up with anything? Uh, tomorrow back? we're going to be doing... I think we're going to play more Battle Chasers tomorrow, because uh, I think that game's not too long. We might, we might play it throughout the rest of the week, uh, the game, when I am playing games. Then Chosen Prep tomorrow, tomorrow night, beginning at 6 p.m. Central. Oh, excuse me. Um, excuse me again. Excuse me again. Um, oh, but then, what is it? Uh, yeah, so that's the play tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central. Wait, did they send you a work schedule thing yet? Maybe. Did they change your schedule? No, I'm still waiting on a response from my email. I'm not changing my schedule until they confirm it in my email. Okay. Well, uh, 10 a.m. Chosen Pro. Hi, seaweed. So. If anything, you'll start your new schedule after. Yeah, that could work too. So, um. Well, Battle I've never heard it mix things, so I love it, dude, Mango. Mango, like, do you like classic RPGs? You'll like Battle Chasers. It's really good. I, I'm enjoying playing it. Not to. Uh, like, literally, Fridays, uh, we're still going to be playing Breath of Fire. Uh, I've been trying to hold myself from playing it one one day a week. Like, I just wanted to binge play it, but I just I couldn't keep going. So, um, but, uh, you guys, we're going to go raid someone. Uh, we're going to go raid. How many people? Give me once in chat if you want to raid. If we get ten people that want to raid, we'll go raid over to our fantastic person that we've chosen. So give me once in chat if you want to raid. I didn't know you cook. Sweetheart, I do. I do every Monday. One, 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 one. Well, that's four, five, six. Oh. Uh, I'll do it, obviously. Seven, eight, nine for Meta. Ten for me. Wait, no, it's not ten for me. Because you are me. Well, it'll be both of us. We'll do there it. There we go. We'll do it. No, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We have ten people. Yep. It's technically eleven. So copy and paste... Copy and paste only this certain section. Make sure you read it and go like, oh, this this section right here. We're going to read over to uh, Lady, Lady, De- Lady Devin. Lady Devin. 
Uh, ba -ba. Can you put the link in chat? Yeah, I will in a second. Hold on. Okay. I'll just copy paste it into the, to the thingamabobber. You always been sweetheart. Uh, I'm actually uh, I'm gonna be putting putting these up on YouTube. So but they're if you in a collection already on your there's also a collection already on my uh, channel that my CM put together. Yeah, you go to like videos. There's a collections tab, and you guys can find the all the pre past broadcasts for chosen and for the food episodes there. Yes. Make sure you guys don't hit the raid call until Loke's. Chat goes off in there, so no preemptive rating. No preemptive rating. Medicium. Wait, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm his team. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's... This is where we're going. Go say hello to Miss Lady Devon. Just wait for us. Uh, we're gonna drop the house here in two seconds. We can put on the ending screen. I yeah. can still talk to people. Yeah. So we'll be back again with this one on Monday night, every Monday at 5, except for when we're going to TwitchCon. Oh, well, technically we could do it because we'd be back in the middle of the day on Monday, if you wanted to. We'd have to go grocery shopping and do yeah. all that. We'll, we'll, see. Set, we'll, we'll see. see. I love you guys. Uh, otherwise, next week will be the last one. See you in the morning. All right. Okay, dropping the 